Are you planning to buy a blowing machine? Do you know that you need to buy a compressor along with your blowing machine to take care of all the air requirements in your factory? Are you confused on how to choose the compressor suitable for your blowing machine? Is the machine manufacturer telling you something and the compressor manufacturer telling you something else which has left you totally confused? Hi, my name is Rohit Agarwal and I am the owner of General Pet Industries, your packaging partner. Over my 20 years of experience in manufacturing PET preforms and caps, we've helped over 100 blowers both in India and Nepal in maintaining their profitability by providing them the right rice preforms and caps. We've educated them on the 10 key things to consider before buying a compressor for the blowing machine. Well. Now, we would be educating you on the same. Number 1. Plant type Is this a startup or an addition to an existing facility? How is the access to the service and paths? When selecting a compressor for startup and remote application, you should always try to keep it as simple as possible. Number 2. Type of bottles Simply designed water bottles tend to have lower pressure requirements when compared to food and pharmaceutical bottles with complex designs. The market will determine the design and consequently the complexity and type of compressor. Number 3. Project Life Obviously, an investment in a complete PT blow system can be a major expense. If there is a business plan that has a 5-7 to seven year window, then a smaller 3-stage pet air compressor or a booster is the best candidate. Longer life projects should consider larger water-cooled pet compressors as a budget, budget permits. Normally, investment for a blow compressor system is 20% of the new blowing machine. Number 4. Operation hours An obvious consideration is how many hours per year the equipment will be running. Ching single shift, 6-day operations equate to 2500 hours and is common in many specialty bottle manufacturers. This is a logical place for the smaller air cooled units. As production hour increases to 4000 to 6000 hours per year, transition to the large water cooled units should be considered as this tend to have a longer shelf life. Blowing pressure required. Bottle design and machine speeds are key factors in the blow pressure requirement. The higher the pressure, the more heat is generated in the compressor, resulting in shorter maintenance intervals and higher power costs. Number 6. Equipment Room Many times a compressor is installed in whatever space is available and the positioning of the system is not considered. It is critical to consider the following when determining whether a compressor can be placed. Number 1. Space Ensure there is at least a 3 feet clearance around each major component. Access Will you need a crane or a forklift access for the removal of major components such as motor, etc.? Number 3. Ventilation Space should be designed to be no more than outside ambient temperature in the hottest air conditions. Air conditioned environments are a must. Future expansion If you think you'll need additional space, piping, compressors or electrical setups in the future, plan your layout accordingly. Number 7. Maintenance capability whether in-house capabilities do you have for daily, weekly and monthly maintenance. Unfortunately, PET high-pressure compressors are the most maintenance-intensive component of a blow bottle applications. Train your maintenance team to follow maintenance recommended and recorded daily. If you do not want to have the in-house capability, take an AMC, which is an annual maintenance contract from your compressor supplier. Timely maintenance is critical to prevent downtime. Number 8. Backup System Facilities that have remote locations or require a 98% production rate may realistically require 100% backup. It becomes an economic decision of how soon the existing system can be up and running. Many compressors, many companies look for a good used or a rebuilt system to be used as backup or place their old system in backup status. 
नंबर नाइन पावर कॉस्ट कंप्रेसर रनिंग कॉस्ट इज द मोस्ट इग्नोर्ड कॉस्ट इन द इंटायर ब्लोइंग पेट ब्लोइंग सेटअप हियर आर सम की कंजर्वेशन पॉइंट्स द कंप्रेसर शुड नॉट बी आइडल फॉर मोर देन टेन मिनट्स नंबर टू प्रेशर ड्रॉप शुड नॉट बी मोर देन फिफ्टीन पी एस आई फ्रॉम द कंप्रेसर टू द ब्लोइंग मशीन नंबर थ्री सेट प्रेशर फॉर द मिनिमम अमाउंट रिक्वायर्ड टू ब्लो अ गुड बॉटल नंबर फोर On multiple machine systems, install a controller to ensure proper load management. Number five, install a flow meter to ensure that there is no increase in air usage over time due to mold wear or pipe or equipment leakage. Number ten, piping and storage. Correct piping is critical for the proper proper performance of a single or multiple blow machines. Any pressure drop caused by incorrect piping or storage can affect bottle quality. For example, if two or three blowing machines happen to cycle at the same time, it can cause a pressure drop to shut down all three. Detailed discussions should be made both with the compressor supplier and the blowing machine supplier. And piping installation should be done only after their recommendation. If this video has educated you on the key considerations to take into account before buying a compressor for your blowing machine, I request you to please share this video with your fellow blowers and friends. Also, in case you want to know what compressors do we have in a pet bottle making unit, I would request you to please leave a comment below so that we can make a next video on the same. Signing off. See you in my next video.